Good evening, pleasure to be here. I stand between you and the award ceremony. I know for a fact you have had flags of presentations. I'm looking forward to ensuring that whatever we get to do over the next one hour, it makes each and every one of you great. I have a request of each and every one of you. If you could give yourself the permission over the next 60 minutes to keep your digital distractions aside. Just keep it aside, leave those WhatsApp conversations, give yourself the permission to go ahead and say, I'm going to spend the next 60 minutes investing in how I can become a greater leader. I'm going to spend some time talking to you about what are the disciplines of various sales leaders. I know you are just more than sales, but the fact is sales is the core of the business. So as we go through the next one hour, because each and every one of you is an experienced person, your mind will make connections. Don't lose those connections, write it down. Because I want each and every one of you to increase your roti. Roti is not what you had for lunch. Roti is return on time investing. So if you're spending 60 minutes, let's maximize it today. I want to start off by talking about what's really happening today. All of you must have heard about the VUCA world, right? And when we talk about VUCA, we are primarily talking about the volatility, we are talking about the uncertainty, we are talking about the complexity, and we are talking about the ambiguity that's happening all around us. Now, please remember, as a leader, you should not be satisfied with the superficial. What you need to do is just not to say we're just living in a VUCA world. You need to go ahead and get to the next level of detail, which is what is volatile in my environment? What is complex or uncertain in our strategies? What is complex when it comes to your processes? And what is ambiguous when it comes to technologies? Please remember one of the things that is constant is change and the biggest constant in that change is the march of technology. I'm sure each one of us would have heard about smack eyes. Has anybody heard of that? It's social, mobile, analytics, cloud, artificial intelligence, IoT, security, blockchain. It's all of those different technologies that's transforming businesses. As leaders, you need to be aware how these technologies can influence your customer's business. So it's the ability to connect the dots from the changes that is happening to the transformations you can go ahead and drive for your customers. Even before I get into the specific disciplines of sales leaders, I want to spend some time with each and every one of you. I am hoping every person in this room has this opportunity to serve customers. And what I want to spend some time is to talk to you about research. Research that tells you what truly customers expect from each and every one of you. So if I can take with some of those bad pictures, stop looking at your mobile phones, start, if I can tell you the five things if you want, you can write it down. Please remember, these can change how you and your sales organization can transform itself for the future. So five things customers expect from organizations that serve five things customers expect from service providers. First one, provide me unique and valuable perspectives 
on my addressable market. So the first thing that your customers are expecting from you is don't come and tell me about my products. Because the moment you go ahead and talk about your products, that's the most boring thing for your customers. 